I'm uh, trying to put a cartridge tonight together in uh, two times 20 minutes, what's faster than I regularly do, because normally it takes about one and a half hour. So I'll double the speed. Uh, this is the body. The body's made of koa wood coming from uh, Hawaii. It's already pre-installed uh, with the uh, uh, mounting holes. The first thing what I'll do is take a connector and make some wire connections to this connector, otherwise I can't connect the, the coil to the rear pins. The first thing I do is using a finger, fix the uh, connector and take four wires, red, green, purple and transparent. And solder the ends because without solder you can't solder. That sounds logic. Um, so I put them in the right order in parallel. Next to the red one and green one. I'm using here our MCS 150. A um, very, very, very high quality low signal transmitting cable sold to several tone arm manufacturers. One of them is SME. But SME is sold to an Indian owner and I'm afraid it might change the politics. So, four times. Turn on the soldering device, should be around 425 degree. Take my solder and with some cleaning paper I clean the tip because dirty tips don't solder well. So first is soldering the top end of the wire. A little bit of tin, and this needs to be done very fast to avoid solving the solder and the silver lead wires together. That's it. Take the connector and start with the finger on the red one and follow the order as connected here. Have to clean again. This connector has enough solder to make the right connection. It needs to be done extremely fast again to get a very nice flowing drip. Then this connector with wire is soldered, uh, is adhesive at the bottom connector of the body. First check if it fits well. It fits. Should fit. Put adhesive at the rear part. Wait for a very short one so the adhesive penetrates the wood. And then I fit this connector by some pressure in the slot. There it is. Move the wires aside, not to be adhesive to the wood. That's it. Second step is to use a metal plate to start. This needs to be done very precisely to maintain symmetry. Normally I put adhesive on the body and then press the plate. This time I'll just use adhesive through the center hole. And it fixes itself. It's faster. But you still need to, yeah, it's ready. You can put this aside so it hardens. The next step is to mount the rear pole. That's four pieces of material. That's the rear pole. Take a screw. Oh, you see. A nut. It's very helpful when you eat with uh, chopsticks so you can easily pick up parts for cartridge manufacturing. So the the learning curve is first eat with chopsticks and then you can put things together. A 
do this always under the microscope to take one and not five together. Yes. Putting this together is a little bit tricky. Sometimes it goes very fast and sometimes it takes time. I'll create a little bit more space. Yes. There's one specific direction. This is the rear. So this is the front. That's the round pole in the vertical pole. Put the ring. And then I put the last part. And that's always a little bit tricky. Sometimes it goes fine and sometimes it flips off every time again. If I drink too much cod liver oil. Yeah. Yeah, it's rotating. No, yes. We have it. We're lucky today. Take a plier. This takes a little bit of time. Next step is to fix the magnet on the rear pole. Very symmetric. Rotate the um, setting screw precisely in center. That's it. Take one of the magnets. Fix the magnet to the pole. Break away. And precisely make it centered. This is a very essential part of the job. Because if it's not centered, it's very hard to correct afterwards. You have to have an experienced eye to take that decision. It's okay. It's more or less okay. Now it's okay. Good. Fix this part with adhesive to the body. But first I have to remove a little bit of the adhesive. Each tool here has a function. It's not that it's just a collection of something. So for each job, ah, the adhesive is still not hardened out. It's still flexible. So I have to move it vertically. And that's it. So I put adhesive at front of the support part. But the metal plate doesn't move. Here it is. I have to precisely to adjust. Yes, it works. Plate is still in position. And that's it. Completely in balance. And adjusted. The next job is to cut the small PC boards. I need another box where the PC boards are in, so you have to give me the PC boards. Ah, I have them here. I'm lucky. I did last night already. I need my yellow cutter. Yes, here. And cut the fibers. Because that's cosmetically not really nice. I use a grinding stone at home to flatten, but it was too much to take that also all the way to Australia. So this is also acceptable. The next step is to fiddle the, the Y through the PC board holes. That's a little bit tricky. You can only cut once, and that's it. If you make a mistake, you have to start again. It's ready. So, that's for the vacuum cleaner. <coughs> Take the cartridge and twist first the lead out wires. To start with red. I 
about 10 turns extra and smoothen the top end so it fits in the hole. The red one and now the green one. I flatten again the purple one. Everyone can do this. What comes after is a little bit more complicated. So when you think I start my own Australian cartridge company, ACC, up to now, you will manage. Put the wires in right position. The white one and the red one are the plus wires and the green and the purple are the minus. Each coil I want has a plus and a minus end, so I know precisely how the face will work. Hopefully it will continue to work. I have to do this again. These wires are very slowly drawn, very high grade silver wires. Slow drawing means much better sonic quality. And the better wire is even extruded. First the green one because there's longer and then the red one. Moves it to the corner and put adhesive. Sometimes you're lucky and sometimes I'm not. Lucky, it fits well. Keep it minimum some some seconds tight by the pin set, so the adhesive hardens out. Yeah. It's okay. I stretch the device because otherwise they stay in the adhesive. Take the other one, and then we are about halfway. Um, it's done. Adhesive. And fix it about 10 seconds time to have a yes pull the purple ah, doesn't want to move but that's okay cut the wires and leave a little bit out of the hole. One, two, three, four. S next step is to solder the, the wires also at 425 degree. Clean up the place. Take my sticky stuff, put the body on, adjust sharpness, here we are, and solder. So far, it's easy. Must be careful with the device because it it attracts each other. Yes, tick. So when you fix the coil and you solder, it must be very careful.
This is the more difficult one. This one needs to do a bit extra and then it's, we think we stop for a small break. Ready. <laughs> 